Let no one glory over the greatness of their own mind, and keep watch over their wits. Have them all six, but do you see the change that I made? Who or where we're getting our lore from is just as important as the lore itself. Because the actual quote from Havamal 6 is, Let no man glory in the greatness of his mind. My intention is not to be disingenuous, but to be more inclusive. But do you still trust me as a lore source? It's a slippery slope if we are not careful. So let's thread our needle so we can better keep watch over our wits. First, we need to understand what the Nine Noble Virtues are. They're exactly that. Virtues. In their genuine form. All good things. Let me preface the rest of this video by saying simply this. Not all Asatru are bad. People, leaders specifically, can be bad. I could easily make these observations in something like, say, the Power Rangers or Captain Planet, and then go start a religious group. When these pure things are made unpure, it serves one simple purpose. You are good. You are going for these virtues. All others are bad. Why create an enemy? Control over your wits. When you Google it, it even says that they come from the saga, implying that they are there. Characteristics plucked from the saga and then presented in a very certain way. I would call this search inaccurate. They are never presented as a grouping or list within any of the lore. It is a form of grooming, both your wits and the internet apparently. My first encounter with this kind of grooming was within the Boy Scouts. After all, a scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, brave, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. It's still drilled into me to this day. Arguably all good things. Were you aware you get a promotion if you join the U.S. military? That's what they're grooming you for. All the traits and the skills fast track you through the equivalent of basic training prior to being in basic training. I would know. I used it when I joined. Now then, it's what we do with these things as individuals and how we are led that's important. I would encourage you to look into Edred Thorson, very important in the AFA or Asatru Folk Assembly, an Asatru group, and one of many, not all bad. I know many Asatru, I trust many Asatru. They know who they are, and they're stand up individuals. Whether knowing or not, you are submitting yourself to the authority of Ed Thorson, the man who coined this and put it in a pamphlet that would later become a book. Ah, there are so many other virtues from the lore that he left out. I wonder why. Let's get into it. He formed a Neo-Volkish group, Volk originating from the Third Reich and heavily used within their lore. Their lore, not ours. And if you're a member of the AFA, you are not my friend. You are the opposite. The AFA is a leader in these kinds of groups. They set the pace and the tone, one that is not mine. I've kept watch over my wits and why I don't join groups. I mean, yeah, I might miss a few picnics, but I don't like the black sun in my potato salad. That's the AFA symbol right there in the middle. They will prey upon your wanting of sense of hospitality and community. They will use peer pressure, manipulation, and misrepresentation. And the further down the rabbit hole you get, the more twisted you and the lore become. I would argue you need to use these virtues to stand against them, like I am doing right now. Ironic that they would talk about hospitality but only to certain people. They would talk about honor, but dishonor us. And down there they talk about truth while misrepresenting it, covering it up often, manipulating search engines. Oh, and then there's courage. I don't know about you, but when people have to lie, twist things, and manipulate, that's kind of a coward's path. Not very courageous. These are the faces of the courageous. They will take offense when I challenge them like this. They think they are special when they're not. They're lied to. They don't hear the real wisdom within their echo chamber. They cannot critically think because they have surrendered themselves already to the authority of Ed Thorson and the AFA. So remember, neighbors, let no one glory in the greatness of one's own mind, but keep watch over their wits. And until next time, cha cha